Hello and welcome to lesson one on logarithms, also known as logs. This is an introduction and you're going to need a scientific calculator and some paper. Now the first idea I want you to get lodged in your head and write down and refer back to is that a logarithm is an index or a power. Okay, I'm going to use the word power much more often than the word index. So a logarithm is a power and we'll explore what I mean by that using a simple example. Um, so you know that 10 squared is 100 and in this relationship the 10 is known as the base okay and uh, the 2 is known as the power so if we look at this relationship 10 to the power 2 equals 100 and I've just said well a logarithm is a power so does that mean that in this case the logarithm equals 2 well yes and no it does mean that the logarithm equals 2, but that's not particularly specific. It doesn't say the logarithm of what. Um, it doesn't say anything about the fact that it's the log of 100 or that the base is 10. So what we need is something a lot more specific. So what we say is log to the base 10 of 100 equals 2. So the log is the power. And we write that as follows. Log to the base 10. So the base is written smaller and lower down of 100 equals 2. So remember the logarithm, the thing that it all equals is the power. So um, what I want to do is consider three more examples given in index form, a bit like 10 squared equals 100. Um, so we've got 3 to the power 4 is 81, 2 to the power 5 is 32, and 10 to the power minus 3 is 0 0.001. I want you to try and write these in logarithm form. So maybe pause and we'll do that in a second. Still here? Okay. So this one here is the logarithm. Uh, we look at the relationship here. 3 is the base. So I can write log to the base 3. And it's the logarithm of this number, 81. So log to the base 3 of 81. And what it equals is the power. So log to the base 3 of 81 equals 4. Next one. It's the logarithm, and in this case, the base is 2. So log to the base 2 of this number here, 32. And it is equal to, again, the power. So log to the base 2 of 32 is 5. Finally, uh, another logarithm. In this case, the base is 10. So we write log to the base 10 of this number here. So log to the base 10 of 0 0.001 equals, and again, it equals the power, minus 3. Now I'd recommend you pause the video and just look at these three examples and try and see how the left-hand side relates to the right-hand side and get the idea stuck in your head. Um, but next I'm going to give you a different way to think about logarithms. If you're asked to find the logarithm of a number, based on this fact, the logarithm is an index, logarithm is the power. So you can think, well, the logarithm of a number to a given base um, is equal to the power that that base would have to be raised to to give you that number. So I'll illustrate that with, with another example. Okay, so for example, log to the base 2 of 64. If we were asked to work that out, um, well, the base is 2. And so really, I want to know what power would I have to raise 2 to to get 64. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 again is 8, times 2 again 16, times 2 is 32, times 2 is 64. So I can see, just by checking like that, that 2 to the power 6 is 64. So the power that I need to raise it to is 6, and therefore the logarithm of 64 to the base 2 is equal to 6. Um, now before we carry on, there's two important results that um, really you just need to know off by heart. Um, and they're quite easy to figure out anyway. The first one is based on the fact that a to the power 1 is equal to a. So anything to the power 1 equals itself. So therefore log to the base a of a is equal to 1, no matter what a is. So if you take log of the base, you get 1. So for example, log to the base 3 of 3, uh, that's the same as log to the base 4 of 4, and so on. They're all equal to 1. And the second fact that you need to memorize and be aware of is based on the fact that anything to the power 0 equals 1. 
so if you, you put that in log form, log to the base anything of 1 equals 0. And again, this applies whatever the value, uh, whatever the base. Okay, so it could be, um, I don't know, it could be, let's see, log to the base uh, 7 of 1. It's the same as log to the base 10 of 1. It could even be, I don't know, log to the base pi. Okay, log with any base of 1 is equal to 0. Now we're going to look at using a calculator with logarithms. We know from uh, examples like this one, 8 to the power 2 thirds uh, is equal to 4. You take the cube root and then square it. We know from that sort of thing that powers don't have to be whole numbers. They can be fractions, um, they can be decimals, any real number. Um, and so that implies that the same is true for logarithms. They, the logarithm of a number could be some horrible nasty decimal. The point is you can't always do them in your head like the ones we've been looking at. So you're going to use the following buttons on your calculator quite often to work these out for you. The first button simply says log. Okay, and when you see log like that on a calculator or when you see that written down, that means log to the base 10. So if the base is not written, it means log to the base 10. Really because 10 is a very common base. So using this button with the word log on it, I want you to try and verify this fact that log to the base 10 of a million is 6. That's one that we could do without a calculator because 10 would have to be raised to the power 6 to get a million. Um, and then I also want you to work out the value of log to the base 10 of 76. So do that now. Go on. Yeah. Okay, so hopefully you get the same thing as me. Uh, 1.88. 0, 8, dot, 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 big long decimal. Okay, if you can't get that, you need to see a math teacher, me or somebody else, and check that you know, you've got the right buttons on your calculator. Now, if you have a calculator with an ANTS key, after you've done that calculation, you can do this, 10 to the power of ANTS equals, and you should get 76, because 1.88, etc. is the power that you'd have to raise 10 to to get 76. Okay, the second button that you'll see uh, has the letters LN on it, sometimes pronounced LUN, and that means log to the base E. Now, E is a number that you don't need to worry about just now. It's a special number, a bit like pi, and you're going to find out all about that in C3, in the A2 part of A-level. The third button, button that you may have, okay, not everyone has this, um, is log within a couple of squares, so log to the base square of square. and or it might be similar, it might be log to the base x of y. And really that just lets you choose what the base is. Okay, the base can be anything you like. So just if you've got that button, try it out now and use it to find out log to the base 7 of 200. Yeah, do it now. Okay, did you get the same as me? 2.72279 dot 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 dot. Okay, that's all we need to know for now. That's the introduction to logarithms. Um, we're going to use all these skills a little bit in the next lesson.